What a beautiful song. A song which has done so many lives and have comforted so many souls. But have we ever wondered who could possibly be the person behind such a beautiful song? And what his life must have gone through to compose such a song? Well, let me tell you about the man who wrote the hymn, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Irish boy Joseph Van Lickel Scriven was born on 24th November 1914. His Jane Medlico and Captain John Scriven, his parents were Captain John Scriven and Jane Medlico, and John graduated with a degree from Trinity College in Dublin in 1842. After being away from his family for a while, he had come home high spirited, excited, and full of zeal for life.
they were spending a blissful evening together, a tragedy struck. They had gone horse riding, and unfortunately, the horse that his wife Bill was riding jolted and threw her into the river nearby. Joseph could not save her as the water current was too strong and she drowned. And Joseph lost the love of his life the night before the river.
There's always someone for everyone. Joseph met a young girl by the name of Eliza Roche. He became her private tutor, and even she shared his faith too. And gradually, they both fell in love.
Meanwhile, Joseph received a letter from his hometown in Ireland stating that his mother was terribly ill, but in spite of his misfortune, he turned to the one thing that had anchored him all his life, and this inspired him to write a poem which came to know as the hymn, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. to visitors. 
They were blessed with wives, children, and considerable wealth. Horatio was a lawyer and owned a great deal of property in Chicago. But soon, tragedy came in great measure to this happy home when their son, Horatio Jr., died suddenly of scarlet fever. And then only a year later, in 1871, a massive fire swept two downtown Chicago, devastating the city, including many properties owned by Horatio and his law firm. That day, almost 300 people lost their lives and around 100,000 were made homeless.
Lord, daughter of Parish, but remarkably Anna's proud word survived the tragedy. Yours. 